Hello and welcome to In My Element. In this lesson, we're going to look at food chains and food webs. So to start the lesson, we need to have a little think about what the link is between these organisms. So you've got a goldfish, a rabbit and a cow. Now they all have something in common and it's all to do with what they eat. All of these organisms eat a form of green plants, so they feed off of a producer. And we're gonna look at how that producer fits into what we know as a food chain. A food chain will show you the relationship between different organisms within an ecosystem. But to start off, you need to understand what a producer is. So we've got an image there of a green plant and the sun. So the producer is a green plant and the green plant absorbs the light from the sun for photosynthesis. Now, you will need to know the equation for photosynthesis and there will be another lesson available with that information on. If not, just have a little look online or in your revision guide. And photosynthesis is the process by which a plant can make its own food in the form of glucose molecules. So it's a chemical reaction and one of the products is glucose, like it states there. And that glucose is used to build other molecules that become part of cells. And what we're talking about there are mainly carbohydrates and proteins. And they're essential as the building blocks for those cells. So each food chain will start with the producer. And the food chains are really simple diagrams. And it shows what is eaten by what. Um, so you use arrows to represent that. So we've got an example here. So you've got your plant then you've got a rabbit and a fox. So it shows you that the green plant is eaten by the rabbit. The rabbit is then eaten by the fox. So the energy moves up the food chain. It is transferred. Now, some of that energy will be lost via different chemical reactions that take place. One being respiration and energy will be lost to the surroundings. Now you need to know different examples of different food chains. You can't learn them all, but you need to recognise um, and be able to interpret them and also be able to draw your own. A short example of three. Um, another example that we've got here is grass, which is eaten by a grasshopper, which is eaten by a frog. The frog is eaten by a python or a snake. And then the snake can be eaten by an eagle. And again, like we've said before, the energy is transferred from one organism to another. So the eagle ends up with such a large amount of energy because it has been built up through the other organisms where they fed on one another. Now, food chain is just one example of a relationship within an ecosystem. Within that ecosystem, um, and a specific habitat, there are many organisms and many food chains. So we show how those food chains are linked together by a food web. OK, so it shows the different food chains. You will recognise some of the organisms in some of the food webs that you're shown. What you will be asked to do is to pick out specific food chains from a food web. So I'm going to show you the food web all together because it's easier that way. And then we can take a little look. OK, so there are three producers at the bottom of this food web. So there's some grass, some flowers and a sunflower. Now, from the grass, you can follow one food chain. You can go grass, grasshopper, rat, wolf. OK, grass is eaten by the grasshopper, grasshopper is eaten by the rat, the rat is eaten by the wolf. A uh, different food chain might be uh, the purple flowers fed on by the butterfly. Uh, butterfly is fed on by the dragonfly. Dragonfly is eaten by the thrush. Another food chain might be sunflower, dragonfly, thrush. Or you could have purple flowers, butterfly, frog, python, eagle. There are many different relationships within this food webs and these organisms within these food webs are given different names. So like we've said that these green plants are called producers, there are also consumers. Um, there are different types of consumers. Another term that we can use for some of the consumers are predators. 
and another word that we can use for some of the consumers that feed um, on the green plants in particular might be herbivores or maybe even prey. So for example, the frog is the prey of the snake. The butterfly may be the prey of the frog or the dragonfly. The frog and the wolf may be prey of the python. Right, here are 11 key words that you need to know the definitions of. So we've talked about a producer. A producer is a green plant that can produce its own food. Key there is the word produce. So the chemical reaction of photosynthesis is taking place. A consumer, it consumes something. An organism that consumes something else. That can be a plant or another organism. A herbivore is a consumer that consumes only plants. Whereas a carnivore would be a consumer that consumes other organisms. Now an omnivore will consume both plants and animals. Okay, and then you've got some different names for consumers, primary, secondary, tertiary. Uh, primary being one of the first ones. If I just flick back, so a primary consumer might be the grasshopper. A secondary consumer might be the rat. And a tertiary consumer may be the wolf. Now, you will also have a top carnivore. And if we look at this food web, the eagle will be the top carnivore on that food web. And then you've got a predator and a prey, and you might be asked to pick out some predator-prey relationships. So you could have the python and the frog, and you would be expected to label which one is the predator and which one is the prey. You could also have the rat and the grasshopper, or the wolf and the rat. So make sure that you write these down and you have got the definitions because you need to be able to use these correctly. Now we look forward to seeing you again soon for the next lesson.